So this cost accounting thing we have already seen those stuffs like uh, what we mean by or how did we you know set up cost organization, cost book, elements, component, valuation structure and cost profile. So here are the you know one line definitions for each of those key entities. So cost organization is a group of inventory organization for purpose of administration and cost sharing. So as we were discussing that day, we, if you remember, we defined the cost organization. After that, uh, we defined and we connected our inventory organization with that one. Cost book is an entity container for cost accounting data. So for the time being, we have made only one cost book. But uh, going forward, we will see another cost book and what could be the use of another cost book. As someone was asking me, what is the cost element? So it's once you see the cost accounting distributions, you will see what we exactly mean by cost element. So if I say, suppose I I purchased any item with purchase order with 10 rupees price per item plus I paid 2 rupees for cost rate, sorry, 2 rupees for insurance rate and haulage charges. So now what will happen in my well inventory valuation and cost and distributions. So those two elements then would be coming as material cost element and two rupees will be coming as material overhead or XYZ overhead or whatever name you give. So this is where we, we can break down the cost and can be tracked at the user defined level. Again what we meant by cost components if you remember we saw cost component mapping where in where I said the cost components or cost elements would be cost incoming information would be coming from other applications like purchasing or or manufacturing or order management but we need receiving elements here in the cost management so that those can be mapped one to one. So this is how this is where our our cost component were coming were, were coming into the picture. So here you can see predefined user predefined user defined cost from external sources. So here external sources is our other applications of fusion apart from cost management. Valuation structure as I as we saw that day valuation structure we chose we have chosen cost organization organization that means we can have items cost separate and unique at the inventory organization level. So even I can do further drilling and con can define one more step into my valuation structure suppose cost or inventory of comma sub inventory. So in that case every time I am receiving I can control my cost at the sub inventory level. So same item if I am receiving in two sub inventories I can if it's a if it's going to be it's it's going to be either actual average or standard cost I can define all of them differently at different sub sub inventory level. So same item if it is coming from sub inventory A it might have the cost different than if it if it would be coming from cost sub inventory B. So now in the cost profile, if you remember, this is related to our cost accounting policy. So cost accounting policy is nothing but our cost method. So here in the cost profile, if you remember, we provided our cost method and uh, we chose standard costing method. And after the default cost profile, one more key and setup entity was there. So instead of, you know, just saying, let me go to instance and show the thing. Uh, so that thing as well. So here if I go to again I need to move to the setup and maintenance and uh, here all the cost setting cost setups will be available in manufacturing and supply chain management. So in here for cost management we will go here. So those are all things we am talking about or uh, element component mapping cost group cost organization and the last one was default cost profile. 
so can someone please let me know if they you remember anything or have gone through the videos again so what we do in do in our default cost profile so all of those things we have seen cost profile expense cost profile what we mean by cost profile cost book and all and if i define the default cost profile what would be the use of it okay so if you cannot then in that case what will happen cost organization cost book we have already mapped our inventory organization in there in them with the help of setter cost organization organization relationship the third setup from the fourth setup from the top so now my cost organization cost book and inventory organization are tied my asset cost profile would be having the costing method so now what i am indirectly doing i am telling to my inventory organization transactions use this cost profile or the costing method which is inscribed in it so so here categorically i am saying to my system my inventory organization what asset cost profile and asset expense cost profile or asset costing method or expense transactions costing method my system should be using but if you want to further restrict system and if i want to make my system do the calculations differently for different categories of items so those are the categories of items so based on those categories i can make system drive the costing better differently for different cost for different uh, items under same inventory organization so if you so but it was not possible or it was not uh, feasible in 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 ebs so their cost uh, organization or sorry cost method we can choose as a level of inventory organization and inventory organization that was fixed so did you get this concept what is the use of default cost profile mm -hmm. so here you know instead of here you can see at the category level with the same cost organization and cost book so what will we do let me try to copy or, or open one more instance so that i can move further so here if i go to cost or relationship relationship so here i am going to use one existing inventory organization and in the in the meantime in the 15 minutes break i try to set up our own so here if i go to cost accounting and here cost organization i i said this relationship i need to go back to i need to click on the same so this cost organization organization relationship so here we can see i am going to use us operation as my cost organization and this financials is my default cost book so i will use uh, this cost book here and we will click on search so there will be a lot of inventory organizations which are set it up uh, with this uh, cost of organization and cost book combination so let's uh, see how many of them are there so if i go to inventory organizations so here you can see lot of inventory organization and whenever this check box is checked those are the manufacturing plant sorry we will use at atlanta inventory organization for our for our transactions